Hi and welcome back to Batty.com. Today we're going to show you how to change the bulbs in this 84 through 89 telltale switch panel. When we turn the unit over, we see two sets of bulbs. Um, these two bulbs are illumination bulbs. The bulbs here are warning bulbs and they are different from the illumination bulbs. So we want to make sure not to mix those up. When we open our telltale bulb kit, we see two different sets of bulbs. The larger set are warning bulbs. The smaller set we package separately so that you know which is which. And those are going to be our illumination bulbs over here. So let's go ahead and remove the illumination bulbs and set those aside. We're going to be very careful here. We're dealing with uh, some very fragile, uh, flexible circuit board. It is not hard to tear this stuff. So we're going to be very careful. When we turn the bulb approximately 1 16th of a turn counterclockwise, and then we'll pull it away from the circuit board and set it aside. We'll do that for both of these. Next, I'm going to use some Permatex dielectric grease. This is also called bulb grease. We're going to take a very small amount. We're going to put that on the contacts where the terminals of the bulbs touch the circuit board. We'll take the illumination bulbs. We'll gently press those into place. Sometimes we have to rock those in place or install one side first in order to get the new base into the hole of the telltale panel. Once those are in place, we'll turn each very gently, about 1 16th of a turn clockwise. One of the things that the dielectric grease does is it, it protects these uh, copper terminals from oxidation. Another thing that it does is it reduces the friction a little bit and it, it keeps us from tearing the circuit board when the new bulbs go into place. It's definitely worth going down to your auto parts store and paying $1.50 for a packet of bulb grease. Next we're going to remove the warning bulbs. These come out the same way. We'll turn them a sixteenth of a turn counterclockwise. Lift them away from the board gently. We'll notice that there are a couple of holes where there are not bulbs, and in fact there are no electrical terminals for the bulbs either. Um, we only want to put bulbs back into the holes that they came out of. If you need to do that one at a time so that you remember, that's not a bad solution. We're going to apply some dielectric grease to these contacts. Next, we'll place new warning bulbs into each hole that a bulb came out of. Uh, these are bulbs, and it doesn't matter what orientation you install them, as long as the bulb side is down. Okay. And then we're going to gently turn each bulb about a sixteenth of a turn clockwise to lock it into place. Good. That completes the process of installing bulbs in this 84 through 89 Corvette Digital Information Center Telltale Switch Panel. My name is Brian Thompson and I founded the website Batty.com where you can find more free information and videos to fix Corvette electronics. You can also find the parts and tools you see us using in the videos. Thanks to your support, I'm proud to say that 10 Americans have jobs. Hi friends, 20 years of experience can make these repairs look easier than they really are. But don't worry, we have your back. If you're not getting the results you see here, then stop and pack it up and send it to us. We have the parts, the tools, and the experience needed to do the job right.